Okay, let's talk a little bit about how Monte Carlo can be used to solve the Monte Hall problem that we've been learning about in this uh, in this section. So I've gone ahead and coded up the Monte Carlo simulation. I'll walk you through uh, what's going on here and how we're using components of NumPy and SciPy uh, to help answer this base question. Which door should we open that maximizes the probability of us winning the car? Okay, so I've imported two things, uh, NumPy, which we've seen before, and then SciPy here. Uh, I'm importing stats. That'll help us understand some of the results. Um, there's other ways to get summary statistics, but I wanted to demonstrate uh, pulling something in from SciPy. Okay, so we've got an array that's going to start out empty, uh, that's going to contain our results. And then the way Monte Carlo simulation works is we have some arbitrary large number of trials that we're going to run. So I've got it set at 5,000, but it could easily be 50,000, um, or it could be 50. The idea is, is that the more trials that you run, the better your approximation of the true solution is going to be. Okay, so for the mechanics of the problem, you can see that uh, we're going to pick a random integer, which is a door. There's three doors, one, two, or three between 1 and 4, inclusive of 1, exclusive of 4, so it's going to pick a number between 1 and 3, uh, and that's where the car is going to be, and then the contestant, you, are going to pick a door at random, also between 1 and 3. Then we're going to run through some calculations to decide which of the doors to open. So the mechanics of the problems are that the host knows which door the car is in. So he's going to pick the door that has the goat, not the one that has the car. So of the two doors that are left, uh, other than the one that you picked, the open door will be the one that both has neither your pick nor the car behind it. So that's what this is doing here. So you're getting this set diff one, which is going to take the open door set, which is uh, any of the three doors, and it's going to remove uh, the car door and the pick door. And then if there's two doors, uh, it's going to randomly choose between one of the two doors and then return the open door. Then we're going to have another closed door, which is simply the uh, door that remains closed that's not your pick and not the open door. Right? So that's one of the two doors that remains. Now the intuition behind uh, the problem is, is that you think you're fine either just staying or switching to the new door because there's only two doors left, it's 50-50. But what actually happened was the host knew that the car wasn't behind the door that they opened. So that extra piece of information actually adjusts what the likelihood is uh, of the door containing the car being the door that you should switch to. So I'm going to prove that to you right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if the car is behind the closed door, uh, append a 0. And if it's behind the door that you picked, append a 1. So it's saying you're going to go ahead and stay because you think it's a 50-50. So let's run this Monte Carlo simu five, simulation 5,000 times and let's see how many times we actually win. Right, and that was quick, and then we'll use the stats function to describe the results. And you can see that down here in the stats function, it says that we have 5,000 observations. So we ran this Monte Carlo example 5,000 times. Uh, it resulted in either 0 or 1, and there was a mean of 0.344, which may, means that if you stay, you only won a third of the time. Uh, so this problem actually has a closed form solution that you can calculate using, uh, using algebra. But it's pretty cool to see that you can also use Monte Carlo simulation to answer the same problem uh, without having to do any algebra. Uh, and this is, this, this is the case with many problems. We'll see the advantages of using random number generators in the future. Uh, specifically as we move into machine learning, there's a number of places where uh, using randomness really, really allows us to explore things that otherwise would be really difficult to calculate. I hope this was interesting. I uh, look forward to seeing how you do on a very similar assignment after this.